Oh man, this is all very stressful. Hey guys, it's Sin Queen and this is part seven of the 100 baby challenge. We're starting this part at a really awkward time. Um, but as you can see, we've got some struggling needs here. So before we get started, let's all like join hands, get in a circle and just pray for me. <laughs> Not for my Sims, for me, because this is going to be a wild ride. I just, I got into this house and was immediately stressed out because in my aspirations challenge, I will often cheat my Sims needs before I start the episode, just, just to like top everyone up. Um, but that is not allowed here. So, I mean, that challenge is more story based than anything else, uh, with a bit of a challenge twist. This is all challenge, nothing else. Um, so we have a bunch of screaming children. Hold on, when do these kids get to age up? Because I'm ready. I think, so we need level three and three different skills. So we're getting pretty close. If you could just work on communication, like literally get up right now and do that. That would be immensely helpful. Where's the Wabbit tablet? Who's got it? You do. Pass it over. <laughs> um, watch toddler videos. Gonna cue that up. I know you're smelly. I get it. Um, okay, this one, also communication. So maybe we could just, actually, you know what we could do? It just have them communicate with each other. Who is making that god awful sound? <laughs> oh boy. Um, okay, let's have them talk about superheroes, talk about princesses, um, sing a song, talk about favorite color. Just gonna have them, hopefully they can reach level three at the same time. That would be ideal. I almost think I should check the rules because, um, hold on a second. <laughs> what if I'm doing this wrong? I thought it was, you could age up a toddler once they got to level three and three different skills, but I could be wrong. Okay, what are we doing? Also, she should hopefully give birth today. Maybe I should just let her have free reign <laughs> and just do whatever she feels is necessary. Talk about favorite color, talk about princesses, we'll just have them like keep chatting. And gonna read the rules here. Just give them a little glance over because I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Um, when they can, when they reach level three in all of the toddler skills, excuse me, that's not what I, what? <laughs> what? I thought it was only in three of the skills. It can't possibly be all of them. What are all of them? Okay, I'm confused. Um, I'm not loving this. Maybe, let me look at a different, <laughs> a different article, hoping the rules will be different. Um, toddlers can be aged when they reach level three in all toddler skills. Well, damn, I didn't know. Um, how many toddler skills are there? I didn't know this. Um, as you may have guessed, the toddler skills in The Sims 4 are communication, imagination, movement, thinking, and body. Okay, so I think all of these ones. Well, ugh, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> Here I thought we were really, really close, and that is not the case. I'm still going to have these two chat it up, though. I thought that this would help their attention go up a lot more. Okay, what are you up to? Still just taking care of babies. This is our life. Um, do we have to age any of them, like any of these kids up? No. Clementine. Okay. Not so far. Are you potty trained? Because, man, that'd be helpful. <laughs> There's just so much to be done, honestly. Okay, what's up with this kid? Uh, maybe put Clem here. Oh my god, they're so smelly. But I, I did kind of decide that we're not going to worry about the smelliness factor because there are other things that take priority. I'm sorry, I know we're waking up a baby. It's probably a really bad idea. Also, someone suggested bottle feeding over breastfeeding because breastfeeding actually depletes their needs faster, the mom's needs, and we don't need that. They've taken enough from her, so we won't worry about that. Okay, keep, keep chatting. There we go, they got to level three. Just in that skill, though. We gotta get to level three for the thinking skill. Um, okay, best way to do that, probably. Um, play sim shape, I don't know. 
Oh my god, the screaming. It's like more than I can handle. Do we have another potty? We don't. Well, we really should. Okay, how are the babies doing? Terrible. Okay, good. Good, we love to see it. Uh, <laughs> well, they can sleep. That's that's what they can do. Um, what do we want to do here? I don't even know. Who's this? What do you want? You know what we should do, actually? While well, we have, like, I, I can't believe I'm calling this downtime when her needs are as bad as they are. But let's just make some food. Uh, you should go use the potty. Get in line. I, I definitely think we should invest in another potty. Oh, you're not even potty trained. I didn't know. Okay, you can pl come play dolls. I'm not sure what this kid's wearing on his or her head. Her head. Um, it's different. It's definitely different. And uh, what can you do? You could work on... Um, we need a new skill. We've got movement, communication, and imagination. So potty training is one of them, unfortunately. As much as I don't want to work on that, it is... It's necessary. Okay, uh, let's just have all the kids come and grab a serving of this. Because they're all hungry. And you... Oh boy, you have to pee. <laughs> Go do that. Um... We may have a quick minute to grab some food, or we could nap. Uh, let's just quickly get a, a little bit of sleep, if possible, because she should be giving birth right away. Knox, no, I don't. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. At least she gets a like a brief break from having kids, because uh, yeah, our house is gonna be full soon, so we will be getting a bit of a reprieve from constantly giving birth. And then it's already noon and a bunch of the kids are tired. And we are short a toddler bed. Oh, no, we're not. I thought we were, but we're actually good. This poor kid needs attention. <laughs> maybe. And so does this one, though. So maybe I could have them talk to each other. Hurry up and eat your eggs. <laughs> That's taking too long. Put this in here. Okay, you have had like a pretty good rest. You can get up and grab some food for yourself. Okay. Oh, we'll have these two communicate. Sing, hug, uh, blow a kiss, babble, which is whatever. Anything that builds up that relationship a little bit. Okay, the kinky hair, what are you doing? Uh, maybe, okay, you're not potty trained. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Can you hurry up? You eat so slow. <laughs> I feel like I need more perks, like something to make her needs like never go down. Okay, who needs potty training? This one. I can't believe Rome needs to be potty trained because he's the oldest. Okay, hopefully these two are working on their communication skill. And Babble Boat Sibling... Um, strict. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, why are we not potty training? That was the goal here. Why do I even have a high chair? Like, why did I decide to do that to myself? <laughs> it's not gonna serve me at all. And it, does it not feel like she's been pregnant forever? Yeah, I don't know. It feels a bit weird. Those two are kind of being cute. Still, um, get to work on communication because... It's easier for them to build their communication skill by talking to each other, and then it also builds their attention need as well. Oh, we really don't have time for potty training. Aww. I wish we did, but we don't. Okay, now you can get up and work on a skill. What, what are we missing? We're missing thinking and potty training. Ugh, that's so frustrating. How do we get the thinking skill? Um, come play Sim Shape. What are these two up to? Can they keep, uh, reassure? I don't know if this is even working. Wait, okay, honestly, I'm feeling like these interactions aren't actually building their communication skill. No, I'm pretty sure it's doing nothing. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that was just a waste of time and that was all in my head. That one just kicked up the other one. Love that energy. Uh, you need to go to sleep. You need to go to the washroom. Um, are we allowed to have maids? I'm thinking we're probably not, but man, that would be so handy right now. <laughs> if we could. Okay, you acquired the thinking skill. A bunch of the other ones are in bed. These ones are hungry. Yeah, she's already on top of it. Okay, do what you have to do. I will throw away these bottles because I think they're in her way. Okay, do what you gotta do. Pretty much is giving her free range at this point. Like, I feel like I was super controlling about it before, but now I'm realizing that I might as well just let her do whatever she wants because um, she's, I mean, she is doing what, what needs to be done, even if it's not being done when I want it to be. <laughs> I heard you have a secret admirer. I don't have time to go to the romance festival. Okay, put that dirty, grungy baby to sleep. And then come feed this one. Um, bottle feed. Yes, good night. <laughs> Sleep oh so tight. Uh, you. Oh, man, I'm really disappointed that um, they need to build their skills further than what I realized. I thought we were, like, almost done. And now I feel stupid. <laughs> Can't believe I thought that. Um, okay, let's go grab some leftovers. Also, yeah, I'm seeing your guys' comments and I'm wanting to incorporate them into my gameplay. You guys have so many good suggestions. So many that I'm overwhelmed. And I just, yeah, I don't even know how to start because there's so much going on here. Um, but I do want to read the comments from the last part because there were some good ones. Um, okay, hold on a sec. What are you, you're going to eat? I'm going to get her ready for bed. So eat sleep. Those are the things we need to do. Okay, stop eating. <laughs> we don't have that much time. Like, that, you're just really taking your time here. Um, okay, so having the toddlers watch each other builds thinking skill very fast. Oh, right, yes. Okay, so you can have just click and have a toddler watch. Um, so there's that. If you get the Frigidaire refrigerated display, you'll be able to leave food out for the toddler while... Letting the food benefit from being refrigerated. Food won't last as long in an actual fridge, but food will last longer than leaving it out. That way you won't always have to keep grabbing food out of the fridge. Also, if you get one of the buffet tables, <gasps> buffet table, you can get that food, you can get food that way and leave them in the display instead of making food all the time. Buffet table, you say. Okay. Um, the problem is we probably don't have room for one of those. We got to make some money, honestly. Um... Okay, let me just see here. We could put the buffet table outside. Um, also, I'm a little bit concerned about like filling the buffet table. I don't know how much that costs. And we don't have like the most money. Timeless tradition buffet or timber buffet. And I don't think it really matters. Not that. <laughs> no, no. Uh, this one maybe? It should have been like in the wedding pack. Weird, okay, it's not. Um, okay, let's look under, I know you guys probably know, and I'm just being stupid. <laughs> it's under, like, I, I, I doubt it's under appliances, but I'm just checking. Um, under fridge, no. Okay, wait, this might be it. Uh, the gravy fountain. Yeah, the fountains are there, but not the buffet tables. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's go look at under decorations. I don't even know. Why Why do I not know this? <laughs> is it an outdoor thing? I don't know. Where are the buffets? <laughs> this is stressful. Okay, well, apparently I'm struggling. It, how silly is it that even when I type in buffet, nothing... Buffet table? Okay, it took some searching, but I did find it. Um, so there's the fancy one. There's the wooden. I mean, what's the difference between the banquet table and just the buff? 500 simoleons. <laughs> uh, and that's like pretty basic. Like they're all kind of in that range. So damn, that's expensive. 
Uh, let's just put it out here for now. That's where we'll feed the children. We got to make some money because this is like, this is ridiculous. I think I'm in, maybe in too much of a hurry. Um, I mean, we've only got seven kids. We still need to have a hundred. Like we're probably going to be in this house for a while. So there really isn't much of a rush. Um, so here's, okay, here's the pricing basically for the buffet. Um, 250 to fill up this table or just to, to like select one type of food ranges between like 30, but that's just for like buns and tarts and stuff like that for like a substantial meal. It's at least 50. Um, so yeah, that's, that's going to be rough. Let's ignore the crying kids. Don't worry. They'll, they'll work it out. They always do. Uh, the cry it out method is the way to go in this game or in this challenge at least. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to cost us to feed that many kids, but we're going to spend that money anyway to serve dinner. Like if we made the sausage and peppers, it was like 74 simoleons to serve on the, ba on the table. If we were to just cook something, I mean, yeah, it's cheaper. You can't deny it. It is cheaper, but I don't know. I really don't know what the, what the good option here is. Um, let me, let me know what you guys think. Like, is it worth it to fill up that buffet table when we don't have a whole lot of money to spare or should we be feeding them in other ways okay my god i'm coming calm down calm down <laughs> i was gonna have her go shower for or sorry go to the washroom first and then we can feed the babies oh you're up why are you up go back to sleep it's 3 30 in the morning so like <laughs> it's not time to get up quite yet also, like, seriously, why is this baby taking so long to get here? This seems kind of weird. Like, I, and I honestly don't even really understand if it's, like, I can't trust my own judgment. I feel like this pregnancy is glitched. It's taking so long. Like, I honestly feel that way, but I can't tell. <laughs> I honestly can't tell because all, the, all these pregnancies have sort of blurred together and I don't know what's going on anymore. I can't even trust my own mind. Okay, put that baby back to sleep. Oh, finally. Okay, now we've gone into labor. That Was that not the longest pregnancy in the world? <laughs> that seemed to take a long time. All right, let's go have this baby. I don't know what the gender is. I know that it's only one because that's all we've got room for at the moment. This poor girl. Let's get a good photo here. <laughs> She's probably like, am I done? Like, <laughs> when can I be done? <laughs> She's probably thinking, okay, this will be the last baby probably, right? Like seven is enough. Little does she know. Oh, and then we got the added challenge of like finding another baby daddy. But we don't have to worry about that for a while, but still. Um, someone suggested naming them after like locations because we got Rome. Um, let's go with, oh, there's so many different ones, honestly. Um, Rome is a city. We should go after... Let's go for cities. We can name like Las Vegas. <laughs> or is that too much? Um, let's go with, her name is going to be Boston. Oh, it's a boy. Sorry. It's a boy. His name is going to be Boston. Why not? We love a name theme. Welcome to my nightmare. Baby Boston. Actually, I kind of like that name. I'm not going to lie. Okay, give him everything he needs. And... Honestly, I think we're just going to go serve the buffet. We're going to serve um, roasted duck. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Um, our toddlers are, are eating like these fine gourmet meals. Oh, that's it. Okay, grab a serving. Um, for some reason, I thought it was going to like fill up the whole table. So I don't know. This is one thing you guys didn't warn me about. <laughs> It's kind of costly to fill this table up. You guys probably have more money in your 100 baby challenge than I do because I am failing miserably. Um, maybe that's a better option for like later on. I don't know. We got to get some work done. That's all there is to it. We're going to do a flirty painting. I know that seems like the last thing we should be doing right now, but we're going to run out of money. It's kind of a problem. Do we have like things we can sell? Those aren't worth anything. We've got some photos. It isn't good. <laughs> it's just not good. How are the kids all doing? They're all eating. Wait, no, they're not. This. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, you don't like duck? I'm sorry, but... <laughs> 
that's too bad. We do not take uh, food preferences into consideration. It's not something we're gonna concern ourselves with. Okay, let's go over here and play dolls because we need to get some skills. Up. Who's dead? Someone's dead, aren't they? The baby is getting a phone call. <laughs> really? Who is it? Who died? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's work on some skill. I want to age these kids up so bad, but we're not doing so hot. We need the potty skill and the thinking skill. So where is the Wabbit tablet? We also need another Wabbit tablet because one is not enough. Let's keep working on the thinking skill. Oh, I was still, <laughs> I was in the middle of reading your guys' comments when I obviously got sidetracked and um, just failed at that completely. You need to build your thinking skill too. So what builds thinking? Um, curious or playing with flashcards, nesting blocks, or the tablet? Well, the problem is... Ugh, we don't have time for flashcards. I'll tell you that. Okay, this kid, you can actually go join in playing dolls. It's just a skill building zone over here. You could work on... Um, stacking the blocks because oh wait nope you're good where you are never mind I just want to get this painting done honestly um, how much 316 simoleons that's really not that impressive I think you can do better uh, who needs to work on their potty training skill I think this one does and this one does this one doesn't even uh, this one doesn't have it at all uh, this one here with the weird <laughs> Neo with the hat and the glasses. Let's work on potty training. Okay, while she's doing that, I'll keep reading the comments because that, yeah, that one was definitely helpful. Um, oh, then you also said, what was it? The, um, there was a display. Okay. The Frigidaire refrigerated display, you'll be able to leave food out for the toddlers while letting the food benefit from being refrigerated. Okay, what even is that item? <laughs> Uh, I should know what that is. Frigidaire. Nope. Uh, Frigidaire refrigerated display. Oh, okay, yeah, that. Perfect. Um, the problem is, again, we don't have the space or the money. So I th think... How long do you think the display's contents have been sitting out there for? <laughs> on sale. One day, two, go on. Try it, but I Frigidaire you. Okay, that is a really good tip, and I'm going to um yeah i'll definitely consider that one i just we don't have a lot of money after buying the buffet table so but i do love that and that's a really good idea because then things that we get off the buffet table like that duck is still sitting there could go in the display case and they can just grab it so i do like that um you oh wait imagination oh i've been wasting time you don't really need it Okay, go stack blocks. Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> How am I getting through this? Uh, okay, so can you call a future baby Tina because of Tina Turner? Oh, yes, I can definitely do that. I didn't say that comment, but yes. Um, I try to rush the potty skill for the toddlers because unless the toddler gets the independent trait, they'll need help with potty training until they reach level two. I'm pretty sure they gain skill from using the potty, even if they don't have to use the bathroom. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm thinking so as well. Um, like this, this kid didn't even have to use the potty and I just started training. So, uh, maybe wait with the next babies until at least you have kids because kids can help with the cleaning. Also, by the tent and a slide movement and fantasy is going up in no time. Wait, what? By the tent and a slide. Oh, right. Okay. How much is the slide? Um, because that actually does help with movement. I used that in the other 100 baby challenge, but I, I don't remember how much. The problem is we're on a budget at this moment. Um, if money were not an object, I'd have all these things. Uh, where, okay, this is the slide. It is 500. Yeah, we can't, we cannot, but I love that idea. Like both the tent and the slide, we need both of those items badly. Uh, the tent is 500 simoleons as well. Ugh, life is rough. We should also go claim this because maybe we can make some money from it. I don't know. Um, okay, thinking skill, potty skill. We need to work on those two things. 
So when this kid's done with the tablet, which is just any second now. Oh wait, no, don't, don't stop. Wait, what are you doing? Ugh. Okay, tending to children. What else is new? Okay, you can actually now... Oh wait, not yet. Hold on, so close. There we go. Okay, now you don't need the tablet anymore. You can use the blocks for the thinking skill. And then I'll have you come over here and use the tablet um, to do, what was it? We're gonna work on the thinking skill as well. Oh man, this is all very stressful. <laughs> Play sim shape. Again, if you guys have tips for building these skills faster, please let me know because I need all the help I can get. Um, I just, I, and I, I will incorporate these ideas when I can afford it, but at the moment, um, we cannot. Also with infants, just keeping them alive is our priority at the moment. If you're wondering like, why aren't you tummy, doing tummy time? Why aren't you taking care of their needs? I would, but it's just too much at this moment. Uh, my priority at the moment is, is aging toddlers up because that'll be so much easier to take care of. And then when do these kids age up? Should be really soon. Oh, two more days. Okay, you're doing the thinking skill. You're doing that. You're playing with blocks. I don't want them to spend too much time doing these things because it might turn out to be a waste of time. Yeah, like this one. Imagination, you don't really need it. Um, okay, you could come and do movement. Um, but yeah, at the moment, money it really is a, an issue because if we could afford more Wabbit tablets and the slide and the tent and all those things, it would benefit us so much, but we can't afford it. Okay, put Jenna to sleep. Come over here and take care of Boston. And I'm keeping an eye on this toddler because I think it's Rome. Or is this Neo? Rome. Uh, Rome just needs, oh, I was going to say just needs thinking, but he also needs potty training. Oh, so there is, there's, there's five skills. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want there to be five skills. This is too much. Okay, you need to go take a shower. There's like diapers and bottles everywhere. Oh, there really is bottles everywhere. See, if we can just get one child, that would help out so much. It really would make the difference. And then actually, I think we're going to get this kid to focus on potty. No, don't pee. No, potty train. Nope, don't put that in your inventory. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. Potty train Rome. Um, and isn't it... I, I'm almost certain that potty train kids... Or sorry, yeah, potty trained kids can use the potty and then unpotty trained kids can watch them and build the skill just from watching. I think. So that's also something we could focus on. It's just so intense. There's so much. Uh, oh, and then we need to serve some food. Um, everyone's crying. It's so stressful. We're going to do sausage and peppers. Because the kids are hungry. I know you don't want to be there. I don't blame you. But she put you down and you're stuck. <laughs> Poor kid is probably just so tired. Oh my god, that's taking forever. But I wanted to get to level 2. Did we make it? No. Oh, so frustrating. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. Come get some food. This is like the opposite of toddler food. It's always something very gourmet. And then because I'm feeling crazy, I might even have her do another painting after this. There's no way we have time for it, but we got to pay the bills somehow. Also, Kyle is here. That's not going to help us, though. It never does. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to paint. I don't blame her. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, maybe we should feed some kids. What are you doing? Eat that, please. That is so frustrating. You can... No, don't use diaper. Let's wake him up. Or her. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Did you eat, not eat your food either? Oh, no, you did. Okay. Now everyone's tired. Oh, my God. Okay. Once you've eaten, just go to sleep. 
Don't even... Don't question it. <laughs> Just go to bed. Okay, let's... Uh, no, we want to bottle feed. We can do it. We can do this. It's going to be fine. Everything's fine. We'll put the sausage and peppers in the fridge so we have it for later. Then put Clem to sleep. Oh, I want to do a painting so bad, but she does not have the energy. And then we'll feed this baby. And then, no, d d no, <laughs> just put it down, please. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> just like kind of conniption over that. Uh, because then they just pick them up and go put them on the mat and that doesn't help anyone. Okay, put that baby into this crib here. That one, right in front of you. There you go. Now this one, find out what's wrong. I think we already know. Oh boy. <laughs> so many babies, so little time. And like we are severely outnumbered. Okay, maybe she can finally go to sleep. Wouldn't that be a treat? Oh my, this poor woman. Like, I just feel so bad for her. <laughs> I feel bad for myself that I'm going through this, but, you know, I feel bad for her too. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope we made some progress and we can um, age up some toddlers in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.